the Leatherman Wingman Multi-Tool. This is AgX Presents Garden Product Reviews and we'll be talking about all the items in the toolkit and gear bag for urban gardening. Uh, one of them is the Multi-Tool or a Multi-Tool. Uh, this one is, uh, I can't exactly recommend it um, because it's got these weird uh, star-shaped uh, screws that, that come loose uh, constantly. Um, and I fortunately have a tool to tighten them, but if you don't have a, another tool to fix your tool, it's, it's kind of silly because um, then the, the, the blade is like really loose and uh, kind of dangerous when you're trying to cut something like landscape fabric or, um, I don't know, boxes or all kinds of things that you get into cutting with the blade. But if it's like wobbly, that's no good. Um, but so it is locking. Uh, I'll put in the in the description of the video below the the product link of the of the of the product I do recommend as a multi tool, but um, this is the one I have at the moment, and um, so I'm going to review that. Um, and I can't say that I recommend it um, because of uh, the screwdrivers being the a high use item and a main function of uh, any multi tool, um, and that these are um, I don't know cheap metal or something. Uh, it hasn't stripped too bad, but and it's kind of a thing with with uh, an item that's not an actual screwdriver that the the Phillips head um, is a little bit stripped, um, and it's sort of wear and tear. It happens over time. Um, it's also got a, a flat blade in there. I guess they're both locked, so I'm having trouble separating them. But there you go. The Phillips and the flat head are in there. Uh, this is the Leatherman Wingman. Um, the scissors are another one that gets loose uh, and needs to be tightened at the at the the nut there. There's the scissors, and um, they're not really spring loaded, unfortunately. So it's kind of a weird, awkward, like you have to kind of manually use that squeak squeak um, and then they get loose and then so they're like floppy and it's just weird but I've tightened them a couple times. Um, it does have this nice little poker tool. Is that, can I get that separated from that? Urgh, not really. It's just a funky, I don't know, Leatherman is high quality typically and this does not represent their best work I must say. Um, I'm a fan of um, other tools they have and um, I will put that in the description uh, of which one that I'm most fond of. Um, so look for that down there. I'm wrestling with what else is in here and how to get it out of here. Here's a few more things. Um, try to fan them out. The can opener, which uh, who really uses can openers? I guess if you can't find it or you're, I don't know. Rarely can opener. All right, whatever. And but beer opener, sure. Um, uh, it's got a little ruler, um, and then the like fish hooky thing. Um, this this was this is a, a m more useful tool for flat uh, head screw driving, um, but it's also been broken. Uh, kind of the first time I used it, so that's uh, not fun. And another reason I don't recommend this, but uh, the the file is pretty nice. Um, and it's got a belt clip for um, clipping on your belt or your pants. Uh, don't need an actual belt for that. So um, all these things will lock once they come out. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, all in all, I still carry it and use it regularly. Uh, it just needs like maintenance and whatnot, and then um, can't really replace the blades on it. So um, I'll, I'll probably get another one. Uh, not the wingman, but um, a, a decent one. This one was like, I don't know, I forget how it was. It was cheap though, and and I can see why. So um, don't go cheap if you want something that's lasting. Is the moral of that story again? Um, so this goes in the tool pouch of your JanSport Odyssey 39 backpack with your other tools. It's the third pocket back. There's plenty of pockets for organizing. In the backpack and we'll go over more of the the tools in your gear guide toolkit for urban gardening and i'll see you in those videos too